on KETK on July 26th, which is in the middle of hurricane season. <laughs> and we are already oh, in man. hurricane season and, and it is bearing her ugly uh -huh. head right now. Yeah, it really is. So the second name storm of the season uh, currently barreling towards the uh, Yucatan Peninsula, <laughs> as we mentioned. So first it's going to make landfall in Jamaica, Casey, yeah. and then it's likely to make landfall over the U Yucatan a little later on this week. So here's what we have. We are tracked to the tropics. You can see uh, getting a little more disorganized now, not as intense as it once was, but the pressure has uh, rose about nine millibars, 150 mile per hour winds, and it's moving off to the west northwest at 22 miles per hour. Here's the projected path of the storm. It's going to take it over uh, southern Jamaica, likely tomorrow and into tomorrow afternoon before it is going to make a beeline towards the northern Mexico. Mexico coast. This is Sunday evening. So if the storm maintains its strength and speed, it is likely to make landfall as a tropical storm. So much weaker than it is right now, but it's likely to make landfall uh, near the Rio Grande between Mexico and Texas. Now for us, rain chances over the next couple of days are pretty slim, but as we get into Friday, the thinking does change just a little bit. We've got a front off to the northwest. This is five o'clock. The front is going to slide to the south and to the southeast. And as it does so, we are going to start to see some showers and thunderstorms filter in because this will be moving into an environment which is very moist, as in there's a lot of Gulf moisture, and it's also going to be very warm. So it's not going to take that much in the way of lift for us to get some rain, which we do need right now. By eight o'clock, we are seeing showers and thunderstorms Friday evening, and then by uh, Saturday, We've got more rain possibly on the way. Here's a live look outside atop the Plaza Tower. Temperature is at 88 degrees. Winds are south southeast at 7 miles per hour. Again, those are readings out at Tyler Pounds Airport. Temperatures right now are in the 80s area wide, so it's going to be a very warm and humid night. And temperatures probably only getting into the upper 70s tonight, given how humid it is. I mean, just look at these dew points. We're in the mid to upper 70s. <laughs> Nacogdoches is due point right now is 83 degrees folks that is extremely uncomfortable it's just like you're walking out into a wall of water vapor that's how it's going to feel when you step outside the door and it still feels like it's 99 degrees in Nacogdoches and Tyler as we look at the heat alerts Heat advisory for our central and western counties, but counties including St. Augustine County that border the Texas Louisiana border. We are under that excessive heat warning, but area wide 105 to 115. That is the potential feels like temperatures 79 tonight. Temperature around 100 for tomorrow afternoon. Lots of sunshine. It will be hot. It will be dangerously hot across the area, so please be careful. And for your July 4th forecast, temperatures near 100 degrees. I do not anticipate any rain, so make sure you hydrate and have something to put out the fireworks just in case that does get out of hand Thursday night. 40% chance of scattered showers and thunderstorms Friday, less of a chance Saturday with an isolated storm or two Sunday, Monday and next Tuesday. Deep East Texas, I have you guys a little cooler than East Texas given the higher humidity, but highs will be in the 90s with those rain chances back in play starting Friday. Casey Carson, thank